Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.com with this video about getting started with uh, working with Vue. Um, so now I think I've done a tutorial series for pretty much all the main front-end frameworks. So Vue, React, Angular, uh, Svelte, and Stencil. So it's good to learn. I like knowing the basics of all of them because they all... You, I feel like I've learned different things about JavaScript along the way and how JavaScript can be used. Um, and also you start seeing the similarities in the differences and you start seeing how many how they borrowed things from each other and it makes it really easy to learn the next one because oftentimes a lot of it is similar um, yeah so there's that but first let's get set up with view um, so basically create a folder I have a folder called view where I'm going to be doing my view projects and first thing we need to do is install the view CLI so this is assuming you already have like node and all that stuff Okay, so control. So if you don't know what Node or NPM is, go watch my videos on that first. Control Shift V. Okay, so that's the command to install the uh, CLI, which that's probably let me cancel that because I'm going to need to do that sudo. There we go. But basically, the command is npm i. So npm install the dash g flag for global. So you're installing this globally, <coughs> and we're installing the add view CLI. That's going to be the command. Uh, that's the command line tool, so that way you can uh, make view commands in your command line, and then the at view CLI service global. Okay, so let's put in my thingy and let that install. Okay, now view is going to be is pretty cool. Um, the way I always like to think about it when it comes to React, Angular, and Vue, the three the three big ones, is I always just think about it this way. In Angular, everything kind of gets its own separate file. So if you, when you're using Angular, you got a separate CSS file, HTML file, and a TypeScript file. So basically, you know, you have a separation of your stuff. In React, if you're using like Create React App, you have your HTML and your JavaScript in your JSX files, okay? And then you have your CSS, depending on how you choose to do CSS and React, uh, separately. So there are really kind of a lot of options on how to style React components. So you could do a global style sheet, a component-based style sheet, you could do styled components, inline styles, there's a lot of options. I used to always just do the style sheet per component, but styled components are growing out on me. Now in Vue, everything is in one file, okay, um, which is a, a which is a pattern that, that, that Svelte uses as well. So you're going to have a view file, and in that view file, you're going to have your HTML, so your template, you're going to have your JavaScript, and you're going to have your um, CSS, all in that one file. So in that case, every component literally is pretty simply one file, which makes it simpler in that regard, because you're not having to worry about, okay, which file is what stuff in. Um, so that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause it while that loads up and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that's finished installing, the next step is we actually get to create a project. So we're gonna type in view, create, and we'll call it practice, our practice project. Okay, and then what that's gonna do is create a folder with your practice project in there. So it's gonna just take a minute for it to uh, all scaffold out. Okay, and looks like I got to update npm, so I'll, I'll do that in a little bit and run the npm command. And here's going to ask you a few questions. So let's see here. Please pick a preset. Default. Um, I'll stick with the default. Okay, so I guess that kind of installing CLI plugins. This might take a while. Okay, so I'll pause while it does that. Okie dokie. So now that has finished running. So let's. See, let's just follow the commands and go into the folder. CD practice. And then we're going to do npm run serve. And that's going to run the development server. So now that's going to start up. <coughs> so we'll give that a second to start up, but that should be a bit quicker. Okay, and let's explore uh, the folder while that loads up. So basically, here is your folder that you end up with. So, like most Node projects, you can have your package JSON folder which has all your dependencies and all that fun stuff. I always like to take a look at it, mainly to take a look at any scripts that are already in there. 
So, you know, we have serve, so you can do the development server build, so you can do your final build, and linting for linting purposes. Okay, and let's see here. Okay, it's running. It's running on port 8080. So let's go ahead over there and check out port 8080. I still got all the Angular stuff up because I had just done these Angular videos. So let's go over here now. Let's go to localhost 8080. And it's just going to load up the boilerplate sort of standard uh, view page. And that's, that's that there. But let's take a look at where that's coming from. So just to kind of explain, there's your index.html. And essentially what's going on in your index.html is that there's this div here. So this is very similar to React in this regard, where there's an app, where there's a div with an ID of app. And that's essentially where your app is being injected to. Okay. So if we go to the source code, uh, we go to main.js, this is what's injecting it. So basically saying, hey, we're going to import view, we're going to import the app component, and basically what we're going to do is we're going to take make a new instance of view, and we're going to render the app component wherever the ID app is. Okay, so it just mounts that in there. So that's your entry point. So those two files you never have to change, but just so you understand how your application gets there. Really, what you need to do is these view files. That's what you're going to be editing, okay? And right now it doesn't look all that colorful because I don't have um, an extension for view. So let's do that. So I'm using Atom right now, so I just can go to Preferences, Install, and go to View. And look up a view. There we go. So let's install that. And then that should make everything a little bit more colorful. And we'll put we'll install that one too. Okay, so close that. Oh, I closed everything. So let me go back over here. We're gonna look at that view file. It'll eventually change colors as those packages get installed. But essentially what happens here is that basically your view file is broken up into three parts. There's your template. This is sort of the HTML of your component. There is the script tag, that's the JavaScript of your component, and then the style tag, that's the CSS of your component. Apologize for any sirens in the background. I live in Brooklyn, not the quietest place in the world. And essentially what's going on here, this is sort of the hello world page we see in the front. I'm gonna delete all of it, boop. And I'm just gonna put in the H, an H1 that says hello world. Just so you can see that this is going to change what we see on the front screen. Okay, that's going to erase all of that. Oh, it's upset. Okay, has been registered but not used. Okay, so it doesn't like it when there's components that are brought in. So let's talk about that then. So in your script tags, where you're going to start bringing in stuff to use. So let's see. In this case, they have they already have a hello world component that was created that is being imported. I need to get rid of that. So we're going to get rid of that. And the way it's brought in is through this chunk of code right here, export default. And, and this export default is sort of this object that kind of describes your component. So it's saying, hey, the name of this component, it's the app component. And it makes use of these components. So right now I'm just gonna get rid of the hello world component from that object. If later on we make more components, we'll add them in there so we can use them. So I'll save. And there we go, hello world. Okay, now there are other components. So basically, if you want to create another component, the easiest way to do it is just go to this components folder and you can just copy and paste this hello world component. So same thing. So you have a template. You have a script tag, which is right there. And then you have your style tag, which is only going to be used for that particular component. So we'll go over some of the more of the features in the videos, but now you have it set up. You have a little bit of a lay of the land of what the setup is here. And I will see you guys in the next video.